Hi guys, I'm Arpit. I'm the co-founder of NSTM India. We're a premium digital marketing institute based out of Pune. Today's video is about keyword research. We all know that how important keyword research is if you want to become a successful digital marketer. For this reason, I bring you some of the best tips and tools that I know of about keyword research. Some of these tools that I'm going to show you are so powerful that they can take your keyword research to next level. So there's a template that I follow for effective keyword research. You can download this template later. The link is in the description. Now, if you look at this template, it has six columns as following: keywords, volume, difficulty, CTR opportunity, requirements, time. As we go along this video, I'm going to walk you through an example. Fill out this entire sheet so you guys can understand better. So we start with the first column that is keywords. Generally, what I see is marketers only use Google Keyword Planner for the keyword research. No doubt, Keyword Planner is this amazing tool. However, I suggest Keyword Planner should mostly be used for checking search volume. Your key, your keyword ideas and your business research will mostly come from other websites. So I suggest you use all the sources to collect keywords that people use to find your business. To do this effectively, start with thorough business research and acquire domain knowledge as you go along. Now I'm going to give you some tools that can kickstart your keyword research. Number one is answer the public. Now this is an amazing tool. It tells you what questions do people ask about your business or any topic you put in. This tool gives you one page's simple visualization of data so you can have a quick overview of how you can start answering your audience better. Like if you put here MBA as an example, select location, India is not available as of now, and then hit enter, then click on data. Now you can see it has 156 questions starting from why MBA, which MBA, what MBA, who, when, how. Then it says 126 prepositions, MBA without, with, versus. So you guys see this is a very effective tool if you want to gain some extra traffic by answering some of the most popular questions asked by your target audience. Next up, I have a very smart tool called Suggest Tool by SEO Chat. We all know that keyword research is incomplete without Google suggestions. When you write your topic on Google, let's say MBA, it will suggest you other related searches. SEO Chat Suggest Tool helps you do just that. In one go, it will suggest you keywords for four very popular sources, Google, Bing, Amazon, YouTube. And the best part is it will do it for each letter in the alphabet, like you see here. Also, if you're doing keyword research for a product, then Amazon suggestions will be very useful for you. Or if you're making videos for YouTube, then you can look at YouTube suggestions as well. Next in line is a tool from SEO book called Keyword Density Checker. This tool can give you some insights about your competitor's keyword strategy. All you need to do is Put your competitor's URL here and it will show you their keyword density. Like for an example, I will put the URL of my affiliate marketing course here and it will show you my page title, meta description, total word count. And then you can see one word repetition, two word phrases and how many times it has been repeated and similarly three word phrases. Act number four is Bus Sumo. This tool can help you craft the perfect titles for your content. Now, content can be in any form like a blog, a video, an infographic, an email template, etc. This tool tells you what content and what titles perform better for any topic. Like while making this video, I typed in keyword research here to see what kind of titles are performing better. This tool can give you some great ideas about how you can creatively put your keyword in the title and at the same time make appealing titles. This can help you increase your CTR significantly. At number 5, I like to give you a quick tip. Blogs and forums are excellent sources for you to get started. Blogs can help you understand your domain better, whereas in forums you can see how your target audience interacts. Blogs and forums are also excellent sources to find some LSI keywords. So for finding some blogs, go on Google and type in your topic like I type here SEO as an example. 
then put plus symbol and then type in blogs. This way you can quickly find some blogs and start researching your topic. Similarly, you can also find forums. So instead of blog, just write forums and you're good to go. Some other sources good for inspiration and keyword ideas are Pinterest. You can look at these suggestions. Sometimes these can be very helpful for inspiration and thinking out of the box. You can also look at Quora. It is particularly good for knowing how your target audience interacts and what kind of questions do they have. Wikipedia is another source for great research. It can help you gain domain expertise and also help you find some LSI keywords. Another pro tip, you should ask your customers plus other stakeholders how did they find your business. You should also think of queries that people can write on search engines to find your business. I'm sure these tips and tools will help you collect some keywords for your business. For now, we move to a second column, volume. In this step, you can simply open up Google Keyword Planner and then select the second option. Get search volume data and trends. Copy paste your keyword found in the first step. Choose appropriate location. Like for these keywords, all locations is fine. Now you should see search volume for all your keywords. Just copy paste it in your Excel sheet. The third column is difficulty. In this column, we check how difficult it is for you to rank a keyword on the first page of Google. I like to denote difficulty by high, medium or low. To check the difficulty level for any keyword, I have some tips for you. Your first clue should be competition staff present in Keyword Planner. Even though the competition here refers to paid ads, however, one can also infer the competition for organic rankings will also be high. Second thing that you should check is about results. Generally, if you see anything less than half a million or 5 lakh results, the competition is low. Anything above 1.2 million or 12 lakhs, I consider as high competition. However, nothing can be said with certainty until you look at other indications. Let's move. Third, I'm going to give you my two favorite search operators that can give you some really useful insights. First, all in title, then put colon, then write your keyword. Like for an example, I type here, hair spa in Pune. Now you can see about 79 results. This means approximately 79 websites have these words in their title as you can see here. Similarly, you can use all in URL and check how many websites have repeated these words in their URLs. By doing the above mentioned steps, you will gain a fair idea about keyword difficulty level. To take your research even further, I suggest you should analyze the website's ranking on the first page of Google. I do this by the help of two extensions. First is SEO Quake and second is Mozbar. You can install these extensions, they are absolutely free. Once you have them, just turn them on. SEO Quake gives you insight about how many pages are indexed in Google and Bing. It shows you number of backlinks for each of these websites. Also tells you Alexa ranking and age of the domain. Whereas Mozbar tells you PA, page authority and DA, domain authority. These two can give you a fair idea about how strong a website is. This way you can analyze the strength of the website's ranking on the first page of Google. This will also give you an idea about how much work you need to do in order to beat those websites. You should also check the type of website ranking on the first page of Google for your keyword. For example, a portal, a directory, a social media page, an e-commerce website or multiple pages from the same website. All these different type of websites can affect the difficulty level of a keyword significantly. Then we jump to a next column called click opportunity. Now click opportunity means how good are your chances of getting a click even if you rank on the first page of Google for that particular keyword. So when you search your keyword on Google, you should check how does the results look like. Do you see any search ads on the top or do you see structured data which is now being shown on a lot of queries.
or do you see any local listings, they can also take away those precious clicks. You should also check if your competitors are using schema. This strategy is often used by websites to get some extra clicks. Based on your observation, you should record the same in your keyword research template. Like you can see here, I have written search ads and structured data in this column as I could see the same for this keyword. The next column is requirements. In this column, you should jot down all the requirements that you think will be necessary for you to rank this keyword on the first page of Google. For example, you might have to create a video because for some keywords, Google will show videos in search results. Like if I type in keyword research tutorials, you can see some videos here. Similarly, for the keyword colleges accepting CAT score 60 percentile, the requirements are in-depth blog, authority backlinks and fresh content. And the final column is time. In this column, you should put the time that you think you will take to rank a keyword. Time should be based on the difficulty level of the keyword, requirement for the keyword and finally the resources you can allocate. Generally speaking, high difficulty level keyword might even take one year to rank. Medium difficulty level keyword might take six months. Low difficulty level keyword might even take just one month to rank. So that was all for today guys. Links for all the tools and template are present in the description section. I hope you learned something new today. I want to make so many more videos for you guys and post consistently. Lately, I've not been able to do that. I promise I will pick up this pace and make some high quality, very useful videos for you guys. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into making these videos. I will really appreciate if you subscribe my channel. Also, like and comment on this video. Share it with people that you think it will be useful for. This is Arpit Khurana signing off. See you in the next video. To grow their business. Unfortunately, Facebook has made it so tough to market your business organically or for free. And because of this reason, I wanted to make a video so that I can share with you five super effective Facebook marketing hacks that can totally do it for you.